Today we're going to discuss how to build a supersonic flow choke for your ping pong ball cannon. My air cannon, which provides the air boost to the ping pong ball cannon, has a two inch threaded end on it. So we have a two inch nipple here. We have the area that houses the flow profile and then a one and a half inch piece of pipe that then is coupled to the ping pong ball cannon. Now if you go on the internet, you can find the profile for a supersonic isentropic flow nozzle. The air gets compressed in this choked area, the smaller area, and when it expands on this side, reaches supersonic speeds. There's two ways of doing this. You can do an approximation with straight lines, which is something you can turn on the inside on a lathe or you can scale it to the size of your pipes and cast it. First, I turn that profile in wood and it's split in half so that I can unscrew it and pull it out each end to unmold it. This is sized so that each end fits inside of the appropriate size pipes and then you turn a piece that can fit over the top. I left a slot, I milled a slot here so you can pour your molding compound in. You seal up your ends on the mold, and then this is 80 durometer silicone casting compound, which is pretty firm. You're going to want to put mold release. I used paste wax on the outside of this. This is also finished with polyurethane. Pour your material in, it takes a week to fully cure. Remove those screws and pull it apart. I end up screwing a bolt in and breaking it apart. And what you're left with is that profile inside of this nozzle. And as you can see from my videos, this worked just fine. Thank you.